firstly, congratulations on 25 years. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's a massive achievement. Cheers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this year you got your first uh, You Know Award, yeah, which is yeah. like the Canadian Grammys. Yes, much. exactly. Yeah. So it's, uh, that was a pretty big um, honor for us, you know. I mean, it's it's it doesn't have really uh, value us in the sense of, you know, making you a rich person or anything like that or it's, it's a prestige thing you know the recognition from an organization that uh, finally sees metal as a relevant form of music you know yeah so we're like the first band from our area to ever win so and it's a, it's a very cool thing to see you know death metal band out there with guys like drake and all that sitting under the tables it's kind of weird <laughs> so we were we were cool we're the only long hair guys there walking around <laughs> so it was it's a fun thing, but for us, really the prestige thing of being recognized was the best part of it. That's cool, and it's basically like, could you been nominated twice before, was it, or once before? Uh, we've been nominated uh, for Cataclysm once before, yeah. and then uh, with Exdale as well, the oh, project. Cool. Yeah. So that was a surprise because it's such a new band, you know. Yeah, and it's so. a side project just for exactly, the fun Exactly, exactly. Yeah, and that was nominated probably because of its artistic side. So yeah, true. It got a lot of pe like, people interested, so it and it just for us. And it'd just be a good night out, wouldn't it? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. That's what it was. You yeah. know, we went for the steak, and then yeah. you know, <laughs> if we went cool, if we got them, it was fun times, you know. Exactly. Yeah. And um, I want to go back to the beginning of your career. Mm -hmm. I've heard you say before that Metallica was one of the bands that got you into it. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you went from listening to Metallica to being in a brutal death metal band. Like, right. what happened in between? Well, I think that everybody gets into that thing where. There's something that, it, that grabs you and brings you in. And then from there, you start listening and discovering other things. And then you get influenced also by friends of yours and bringing you these things like, oh man, yeah, Metallica's cool, but this is some heavy shit. Yeah, you know, also then, yeah, Slayer or Testament. I mean, I was a big Testament fan, you know, Practice What You Preach and New Order, like two, two big records for me, you know. And I, I they really uh, did a lot uh, into bringing that step into uh, something more extreme, you know, and then I finally heard Napalm Death's Calm album, and at that time it was just some of the crazy stuff that was out there, and yeah. then I got into that crazier stuff, you know, and I just, I brought in more of a thrash, more of a Pantera type of uh, ideology to the band on those days, and then all the other guys that were in it were like, listen to really extreme stuff, and then they brought all of all of that together, you know, I liked a lot of the UK bands, like Carcass and Boltor, and stuff like that, so those were the bands that influenced Cataclysm the most in, in the early days, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, and then, and then we had the crazy part of us that wanted just to be heavy as fuck, you know? And, it's, and that's, we just wanted to be the craziest band. We were a bunch of young kids that just had a lot of testosterone back then, you know? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> and it was some of that from listening to Legion, because I've heard that's your favorite Deer Side album. Yes. It's mine yeah, as well. It's yeah, the most frantic. Uh, I, I just love Deer Side. I, I think um, I prefer... I think the soft title a little more. Mm -hmm. I love the sound of Legion, you know, with the bass being so loud and Glenn's like attack and approach on the vocals and, you know, we, we become a good good friends and text each other all the time and cool. we, we, you know, just recently I, I just realized that um, this place we're playing tonight, Huxley's, was the place, it was Cataclysm's first show in Germany. In, in 1995 with the aside oh, yeah. so it was um, the campaign for musical destruction I think it was no Easter bash festival something like that tour it was DSI with those cathedral on there blue truth sinister cataclysm and those were the old days you know yeah so it was 1995 I think and it was the last time I was here in this club so cool. it's cool to be back and let's see how it goes you know it looks like it's a cool different lineup yeah definitely so, yeah so uh, talking about Metallica what do you think of the new Album. Um, I like it. Yeah. It's not bad. You know, it's not bad. Um, there's this part of me that like wished they would have kind of uh, continued more like this earlier. Oh, yeah. I think too many records, album. too many records passed since yeah. then. Yeah. And I, I feel that they are not being in a way um, super honest, honest. Uh, about it. I, I feel like they're doing it for the fans and to me it seems a little bit forced uh, when you listen to it, but I'll take it, you know what I mean? I prefer yeah. that. His vocals are great, singing like the old days, you know. And, yeah. uh, there's this cool, I mean it's the best record I think since, uh, since, the, the, Black since the Black Album, yeah, I think too. it's the best album, yeah. you know. 
but everybody were criticizing Metallica on the black record. But the black record was phenomenal. Years later, you hear it, and it's like you saw it grew and yeah. it stood the test of time. You know, so I like it. You know, it's gonna help everybody when Metallica does a good record. You know, so it keeps things cool. And you know, I've listened to a couple of songs, and I like it. You know. And the new Testament as well, since you're a big Testament fan. I mean, great record. They always pretty much yeah. always do good records yeah, anyway. Yeah. So it's it's a uh, it's when Chuck sings uh, like he like he he's comfortable with. Not going too death metal, and sings with that vocal that he's got that's so unique to him. Yeah, they always come on top. You know, I think Testament's a great band. Yeah. Definitely, but I loved it in the '90s when he did do the death metal vocals on yeah, God Face Dolls. Yeah, the Gathering. It was the uh, Yeah, yeah. Low, and Low. then on Demonic, it was yeah. even more. And yeah. it was like an '80s thrash metal band doing death metal yeah. in the '90s. It was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally love it. You yeah. know, but I just my preference is like practice what you preach. That's the record for me. You know, like, yeah. just because I grew up on it. You exactly. know, like so it was. Uh, time in my life where it had a lot of, a lot of influence on me you know, so and I know you're big into Roman history and yes. stuff mm -hmm. and your lineage is from there mm -hmm. so is there anything special you do when you go to Rome or Italy uh, I spend all all my day just looking at things man, and it's studying just, it and taking it in you yeah. know imagining how it was before you know yeah it's just something about the eternal city when you go there it's just like it, it, you feel and breathe the history you know and it's as, as bad or brutal as it was or as great as it was you know so I, I'm you know uh, inspired by it it's 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 some it's a place you can't go for two three days you need a long time to really understand what it was and how the structures were and everything and even the Colosseum the only thing that sucks in the Colosseum is when you go inside they got this big cross in the middle of the grounds and it's like I find it's like just to say that you know it got conquered by the church or something you yeah. know have that feeling and that's what we're trying to portray you know because yeah. Christians got killed there and whatever. I know you guys write a lot about politics. Mm -hmm. What do you think yeah. about what's going on or what's going on with Trump winning right. and all that? Well, you know, it's a tough, it's a tough subject. We have fans that are on both sides of the fence, you know, and they love us the same. Yeah. So for us to give our opinion, sometimes it's a difficult thing, you know. Uh, but personally, like yeah. for me, it's it's. Uh, I, I think both suck, <laughs> like real bad. Yeah. And and uh, the only thing about Trump. I'm a rebel in my persona, and I've always been. And when I feel like something is not right, like I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna pose it. And I think he was the only outsider. And although he's a billionaire, and I don't think he's gonna really do well the things he says he's gonna do. I think his ego's so big, and he's such a narcissist that he's gonna try. I think to not look bad because he can't take. I think the fact of looking bad, people hating him. He fights back, but you can't fight back millions of people every day it's gonna, yeah. it's gonna tear you down eventually yeah. so uh, he's got supporters but his supporters also can turn on him if he doesn't produce so I think he's gonna do things uh, that uh, might be surprising to people you know just to look good yeah. to be loved yeah. the Emperor to be loved <laughs> I, f I see him like that I really I see uh, modern Rome you know mm -hmm. he's like Caesar just came into the you know walked on Rome he just walked on Washington you know so in a way you know I don't think he's as cool as Caesar but you know what I mean that's like <laughs> my might. fucking general you know yeah. <laughs> but it's 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 uh, similar you know and why not try something different and things are really bad at the moment everywhere people are having a hard time and you know you work so hard on something and you don't see progress and then again you know it's 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 something that maybe needs to change and even if it's going to be the opposite at least it's, it's going to clean house and sometimes you have to restart, you know, like, so we'll have to see. I hope it just doesn't push a button and blows up the whole thing. You know? <laughs> and is there, or I heard talk of a self-titled album coming up, um, that's the next album. It, it, uh, there's a lot of things going on right now, um, it, there's not going to be a self-titled record. Uh, we don't know if we're going to release a record right away uh, or whatever, there's, we got ideas. But right now we're doing the Sex Deo album, and uh, we finished it. It's a phenomenal album, and uh, the record label got it, and they're flipping out on it. They think it's going to be something real strong, and so we just shot a crazy video like the last couple of days in Belgrade, in Serbia, and uh, it's. I mean, it's going to be hard to beat this video. It's it's a movie, so it's it was very expensive, but worth it. You do something with Rome, you got to do something that's. Big. big and theatrical you can do a fast something with that you yeah. know so 
Uh, we're going to do that for now and see where it goes, you know, first before we think about anything else. You know. okay. Cool. So you just, like, you've got reps well, and... We gotta, just... We're going to announce something at Christmas time. Oh, okay, cool. Right? Yeah. We're going to give something, a gift to the fans. I think they're going to really love what we're going to say. We're just not going to say it before then, but it's going to it's gonna happen on Christmas. and So they should, you know, visit our Facebook or yeah. see what the press is going to say, but there's going to be something cool. So check out the dates on Facebook or Google or everywhere mm -hmm. and check them out. And the crazy band on the package. It's the crazy band on the package. <laughs> yeah. MTV Headbangers, Headbangers Ball to it. Yeah, yeah. Check it Cheers. out. Thanks a lot, Thank man. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Cheers. Cheers.